something that we've wanted to do for ages. Uh, myself and Ollie wanted to go to James May's pub ever since it opened, however long ago that was. Uh, and today we're actually finally doing it. However, we've chosen one of the worst days to do it. The hottest English day on record. The accelerant, strong southerly winds. So, we've always wanted to go into Clio because Ollie hasn't been in it yet and it's just a cool car. But it's got no aircon, it's stripped out in the back, the radio works like intermittently and we're driving probably about 350 miles today with all the diversions in place. So we're going to use a full tank of fuel and we're going to get very warm. So right now I'm driving down to Bristol to pick Ollie up and then we'll go from Bristol to Cheddar Gorge and then loads of other interesting places on the way down to Swallowcliff, uh, sort of like west of Salisbury and uh, we'll bring you along. Right, we've arrived. It's about 20 past eight. Uh, now we're just waiting for Ollie and then we can head off to Cheddar Gorge. Morning. Morning. How we doing? I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> Got your shoes on you? No, 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 no. I just thought I'd get out of here. My first time in the Clio. It is a very, very fun car. So... I'm excited, mate, honestly. <laughs> I've already lost a quarter of a tank. Decent, I like that. That's, <laughs> what, that's my kind of car, that is. <laughs> Let's go exploring. Yeah? Yes, sir. Exploring. So I planned this route yesterday evening and uh, put a load of like waypoints on the map and this was one of them and it's called Alfred's Tower. So if you're coming from Bristol down to James May's pub, you can stop at the Tower of Alfred and you can see Alfred is just, he is there. I don't really get why there's just this in the middle of a field. No, I'm not sure either. Maybe it was just one of those like signs of wealth things that oh, yeah, rich yeah, people yeah, did yeah. where they just build big shit to show yeah. peasants how wealthy they are. I want to go up there. It's triangular. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> That's such a strange like decision to build a triangular tower here. <laughs> We're both very, very hungry. We're only about an hour and a half away from the pub with like all of our detours, but we're stopping at Mackey's and we're gonna get some uh, get some snacks. Now we're doing car shopping. Who are we car shopping for? Hopefully, hopefully Paul. <laughs> Who is? My father. There we go. So no, I don't know at the moment we're looking at AMG GTs, GTSs, GTRs maybe. Yes. But they're all quite expensive. Oh, that's a lot of money. After a quick Mackie stop, we ventured further down south to this place and had a wander around before arriving at the pub for 12. Oh, it's only like a broken castle as well. Oh, it's some cool cars. Yeah. Maybe we can just... Get 500. <gasps> wow. I love that. Let's do a car park tour. Look how cool that is. It's mint as well. It's got no stone chips. The tyres, the wheels, perfect. All those bits of metal are normally all pitted and horrible, and those ones are shiny and perfect. And it's got little mud flaps. <laughs> it's so cool. What are you going to have? Oh, Guinness, hopefully. Oh, if I have a Guinness, I'd do a Guinness. Smash a Guinness. 
I'm lost. I'm, I'm not lost. driving either, so I can absolutely steam it. <laughs> right, so because it's a National Trust centre place, you've got to pay for it, so we're not going to go in the main entrance, we're just going to have a wander around and uh, see what we can find. I can see a lake, I can see a castle to our left, and there's lots of pretty woods, so I don't mind. 30, <laughs> as well. 30 fishes. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> Fishermen. Well, what was it? There's someone in here. Fisher women. Fisher people. Fisher people. It's 2022. Yeah. He's got fish. Show us your fish, boss. Do what do we do, like? <laughs> good, good fish. Yeah, on the right here, I reckon. Yeah, there's a parking. We have arrived, we're pretty much bang on 12. And I'll give you a little walk around of the Royal Oak Swallow Cliff. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, like all the lanes are so small to get to here, but they've got a decently sized car park. An old thatched roof on the other side that you can't quite see. It all feels very Cotswoldy, doesn't it? It's like limestone and there's a bit of a thatched roof over there. All very neat, tidy and quaint. What a lovely establishment. What drink are you then? English Law. Two of those then? No, actually I'm going to go for the one on the right that says a session pale ale. Uh, 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 English Law, yeah. yeah. Um, Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Yeah, yeah, Wiltshire is pretty near. That'll do. English law. Yeah. This is a particularly nice gear, beer garden. <laughs> gear garden. Beer garden. Beer garden. It's actually in the shade. I was hoping they were going to have aircon inside, but actually this is much nicer. Just being in the shade outside. Yeah. With a nice view. Good pub. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we went to the castle and we saw that Fiat 500. And we were thinking it'd be a really cool video idea to have two of us, 200 kilograms, both six foot whatever six three six two six three fit in car. that and then drive all the way to is it the same car no it's a different number plate. oh okay it's the same color though yeah same color that is 14 grand that's all right find that down the back of the sofa <laughs> <laughs> anyway video idea <laughs> buy a fiat 500 one of the original ones the tiny ones and have two of us both miles. about six three and combined 200 kilograms ish and do a stonking big road trip in it to somewhere in France. Fully restored. Costing, or Italy. Fully restored costing 10 grand in 2006. So you'd have to buy it and drive it to Italy. That would have to be a challenge. Yeah. Well, it's the colour is yellow Positano. So you'd have to take it to Positano, wouldn't you? That would be the... Yep, that sounds like a good idea. How yeah. far is it to Positano? 1,200 miles. <laughs> 1,208 oh, miles. no. It's eight, uh, 17 hours and 49 minutes worth of driving. But I suppose if you did that over yeah, like a week, a week, it would yeah. be okay. But in two a Fiat 500, you imagine two of us in that thing. I would fucking love it. <laughs> All right, we'll add it to the bucket list. Oh, okay, yeah. little little sit rep of the day. Um, we've been to the pub. The meal was really good. I forgot to film anything about the actual food itself. Uh, I had a burger. Ollie had fish and chips. What would you rate it? Hmm. Good eight. Eight out of ten. I reckon. I reckon eight point five with the beer. Yeah, that's a good shout. I think my my burger on its own, for for a pub burger like a traditional pub burger, it'd be an eight, maybe a nine actually and then with the drink it's going to be like an eight and a half to a nine and a half good food and now we're on our way back um we've got to put the window down because it's really hot in here so you're not going to be able to hear anything from this point onwards Yeah. <laughs> all the corners. Yeah. God, 
this road would be class if you knew that nothing was coming. Yeah, if you were going out. Do you know what I mean? Like, or if you just had someone like, you just like block the road off and you just like batter it along here. Yeah. yeah. Bloody hell. Go on then. So, appreciate it, mate. No problem at all. Don't miss me too much. I appreciate the drop off. Monster? You finished it? Okay, see you later. House keys and car keys. Oh, jump in. Okay. okay. How's that for an outro location? We're not all the way back yet, obviously, but I thought this would be more interesting than, you know, in a dusty unit surrounded by pallets and scrap cars. So that's pretty much it. We've done about 320 miles-ish today. So I've driven from Hereford to Bristol to pick Ollie up. Bristol all the way down to Swallowcliff to go to the pub. And then we did a load of different driving while we were down there, back up to Bristol, back to Hereford. Um, so a pretty full on day out. And I've still got an eighth of a tank left, which I didn't think is too bad at all out of this thing, which only gets 28 MPG if you're lucky. So I suppose the main message from today's video is it's 30 degrees, we have no air con, the entire back end is stripped out, not a particularly comfortable car, and yet it is still just great fun. So if you've got a car, whether it's a Clio, a Golf, a van, whatever, just get out and use it, it's fun. You explore the countryside, you find new stuff, you find lots of villages and towns you didn't know that existed, you speak to cool people, it's just cool getting out in cars. Just uh, don't be afraid to put miles on them. Right, so that's it. I'm going home. Uh, I will catch you in the next video.